Hey, what's up, guys? So I decided to do something new. Um, as probably if you guys could tell, uh, the crowd on my con, these thing, uh, right here, crowd is breaking apart. It's basically the passenger side, is probably the worst. Uh, I took this side out already. If you look at it, it's totally ripped apart in half. The crowd. Uh, this whole thing is gone. So I saw on uh, YouTube someone else did this. Uh, what they did was uh, instead of replacing these uh, crowd, um, I check online it's roughly about 50, 50 something dollar each side. So for both sides, probably like hundred bucks. Um, what the guy did was uh, he bought one of these. Let me show you guys. So he used the original. Uh, crowl, but instead he also bought one of these uh, garage door seal. It's basically like a pretty thick rubber seal right here. Um, uh, I think this is nine feet that I bought. Nine feet. Uh, what he basically did was he put the crowl on the edges, basically on the cover. But of course he glued it underneath um, using this. Um, Using a black RTV 100 silicone seal adhesive, so I decided that hey, I'll just give it a try. So this cost me a roughly I don't know seven eight bucks or something like that, and this roughly seven eight bucks as well. Um, basically, combined these is probably under twenty bucks the whole thing, or maybe close to hundred bucks with Amazon Prime sh free shipping. So yeah, so what I'm based on the, what the guy did was uh, I can't remember his name. Um, if it work out, then obviously I have to get credit for him. But if it doesn't work out, then I don't know. Um, looking at it, it's, it looks like it's kind of it's going to be hard to glue it on because the back of it is not a flat surface. It had these uh, rigid um, piece coming out of it, if you can see. So I'm not even sure how this is going to work yet. Um, obviously, if I glue the adhesive on, I have to drill a hole on it because. I need to screw this back on. So let me quickly give you instruction how to remove these. Um, obviously, to remove the passenger side, you just need to move the windshield wiper up all the way to straight up. Turn the car on, move the windshield wiper all the way up, and then turn the car off so the wiper will stand uh, straight. Uh, parallel on the top so that you could remove that side um, earlier the reason why I remove it because I was trying to clean my cabin air filter will change it apparently I bought the wrong one anyway non story um, that's why so looking at this side the driver's side it seems like to remove the, this uh, crowl I need to remove the both wiper blades so I need to unscrew these I'm not sure what the size is but you know just look around it look it felt like it's a 14 14 or 15 millimeter um, to remove these use a flathead um, let me show you guys quickly um, what exactly it looked like so you remove the flathead something like this after you move it um, there should be a uh, four screws underneath that which uh, looks something like this which I oh I shouldn't leave it on the ground but yeah it's four screws pick this up and put it somewhere Anyway, I'll put it right here, the same spot. So yeah, so we move the cover, uh, we move clip, full clip. Same thing on that side. We move full clip, we move the cover, and underneath the cover it has like uh, screws, these screws. Um, we, mo we move the screws and the crowd should just come out. And then after it come out, obviously you want to clean up the, the edges, the top edges. Um, clean these up so that it looks good and then stick that thing in uh, I'm not sure what exactly it's gonna look like but I was gonna give it a try um, yeah it seems kind of weird though because um, it has this rigid on so I don't know what's gonna happen but anyway let me remove everything first oh all right guys it's done just kidding no actually I didn't end up doing it um, so after opening up the this garage door seal um, uh, looking at it just by looking at it and then the shape of it and everything I don't think it's gonna fit um, based on my educational 
calculation uh, just by looking at it is not going to stick well it's going to stick but it's not going to look good definitely it's not going to look good when you install it especially um, I don't know how you're going to fit the edges and everything as you can see mine is torn and everything so yeah so that's a uh, debug definitely it's not going to work so my plan is um, I'm going to put this back in and just going to order a brand new one, OEN. Um, probably, I think I saw online probably roughly about 50 something each side, 50, 50. So it's going to cost me 100 bucks. Right now it's in July, summer, so it's not that bad. It's not like it's going to rain. Obviously, you don't want it to rain because when it rain, you don't want the water to go in side. So that's the point of having this cover and also prevent any dirt from coming in. So mine is kind of. Uh, Right now summer, so it's not that bad. Um, I'm not worried too much. So, yeah. So, one thing, guys. Um, that's uh, another point is that it's probably best to get the OEM. That's why OEM parts is a lot better. Um, it's kind of sucking thing about the Ford Escape is that these rubber seal is actually um, one piece with the cover, with the this thing, with the crown. Um, it's not two piece. It's actually glue or some sort of stick in, so you can't really install one. You have to buy the whole thing. So yeah. So unfortunately, I just got to get a new one. Um, there's no way to just replace that. So if you, any of you guys thinking about fixing this and saw the the guy video, I think he was the only guy on YouTube that who did it himself. I'm going to tell you guys, it's, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. So. I'm just going to save you guys the trouble from buying these two things that that he have on under his description. Yeah, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to put this back. Um, yeah, and then just order a brand new one. I don't know what, what am I going to do with those two. Probably just save it in case the garage <laughs> seal break or something. I, I doubt it, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So if you guys saw that video, I should have, you know, I should have read the description under... Um, no, you know, I should have read any comments under that guy the video under that guy. Because I'm pretty sure someone probably left like a comment on it. Oh shit, my thing is leaking. Okay, I gotta fix that. But anyway, um, other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll, I'm going to put this back.